This is going to be one that's not going to get me a lot of friends. And I understand it's going to be one that's going to make me a lot of enemies. But if there's one thing that's going to come out out of this, it's going to be pure and utter truth. You're not going to share this, and you're not going to talk about this with the person that deserves to hear it. But here I am to tell you what needs to be said. A lot of you parents really screwed up back then. A lot of you parents are still screwing up today. A lot of you parents are walking around in limbo and la-la land, as if the world that you've created is the world that actually exists. A lot of you parents take zero accountability for the things that took place in the past. And a lot of you parents blame other circumstances and other environmental forces or whatever it is that you want to point the finger at for the reason why you did what you did or you let happen what happened. A lot of you parents don't understand that right now you have a son and a daughter that's literally suffering inside. A son and a daughter who's committing or trying to commit suicide. A son and a daughter who's thinking about killing themselves. A son and a daughter who's seeking drugs and abusing drugs just to get rid of the reality that you created for them. A lot of these, a lot of these kids right now are involving themselves in things that they shouldn't, with people that they shouldn't, and dating men and women that they shouldn't even be with, not even close to having kids with, but still, they're doing it because there's a hole inside of them that's not being filled or fulfilled because you are refusing to address the issue. Understand something. There is nothing worse that you can tell a child, your child, than saying this. I don't remember it being that bad. Actually, I don't remember that at all. I'm surprised that even happened. As if some way willful blindness is a good justification for the actuality that that child had to normalize when he became an adolescent and an adult. For some reason in your mind you think it's okay for that child to be able to cope with its own issue because for you to address the problem hurts you too much and the child, screw it, it doesn't matter. Understand something, this is not going to be a very convenient message. And as a parent, I understand how difficult it is to be a parent. I understand how difficult it is to raise a child. But if there's one thing I know about me and my child, I'm going to know what he's thinking. I'm going to try to do my best to stay three steps ahead. And moreover, I pay attention to the subtle changes in his personality and his character. And I try to decide what are the influences around him that are causing it. And could I somehow make them better? Should I somehow talk to him better? But if there's one thing that I do know, is that the creation that took place for these kids right now did not come from a very good foundation. And for some reason, you think ignoring it is gonna help. Number two, guys, I understand it sucked. I understand it wasn't good. I understand it was not easy. You can't sit here and continue living your life dwelling on a, on a, on a past that you can no longer change. Sometimes your parents are not ever gonna talk about it. They will go to the grave with that secret, with that truth inside of them because their pride is more important to them than your than, than actual parenting, than your happiness, than your fulfillment, than your joy. It hurts them too much. It's too painful for them to address. So it's time for you to address it yourself. It's time for you to seek the necessary help. It's time for you to come to terms with it. It's time for you to understand that this is something that you could not change, a past that you cannot re uh, resolve. It is what it is. It will be what it will be. But stop the shit right now because what you're thinking and how you're living your life is extremely toxic and by doing so you're not only hurting yourself you're continuing to hurt those around you so whatever you get out of this message get out of it but if there's one thing you get out of it understand life is a beautiful thing and the past sometimes is a tragic one but the future is bright it's better it's there but you have to sit there and create it peace out